All right, my friends, we just got done talking about links or anchors, and now we need to talk about buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Buttons are used when you are taking an action on the given page. So we're not navigating somewhere, somebody to a destination, okay? We're not going somewhere, we're doing something. That's a good way to put it into your brain. If we're going somewhere, use a link, use an anchor. If we're doing something, let's use a button. And it doesn't matter the content inside of the button. It doesn't matter visually how it looks. This looks like a button. This is my website. This looks like a button. In fact, let me let me zoom here, okay? So we can, uh, we don't have to be so zoomed out. So that looks like a button. What is that? Is that a button? Let's inspect it. No, that is a link because it is a destination. It is taking me to another page. This is an icon uh, that triggers our menu. Is that a button? Let's check it out. Inspect, and we see, yes, that is a button right there. And so if I open that up, what is inside of the button? Well, we have an SVG inside of that button. So it doesn't matter what goes inside the button. Does that look like a button? No, it just looks like an icon. It just looks like an SVG, but it is in a semantic button tag. And therefore, when I tab navigate to it with the keyboard, it inherently gets a focus style and it's communicating to everybody, including the browser that, hey, this is an actionable element right here. Wait, when we open this, and we see at the bottom, there's this close menu. I hit that, that's taking an action. Is that a button too? Even though the rest of the things in here are links and they all look the same. This close menu text looks exactly like the text for these other links, but are they different elements? Let's take a look. Here's your dialogue. And I open that up and I see, look at that, a nav. We talked about a nav, didn't we? I open that up. Ooh, there's an unordered list. I open that up. I see all of my links inside of my list. And there is my link inside of my list item. All right, I should have said all of my list items inside of my list. And there's my link inside of my list item. But come down here to the very last list item. Open that. What do we have? We have a button. Why? Because that thing is doing something. It's not taking us somewhere. And this is the big difference between buttons and links. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make. And again, shame on the page builders for using the term button when they're really having people use links. And shame on the page builders that call it a button and actually use a button and not a link which encourages users to put buttons all over their website when really they're navigating people and it's just an absolute mess. One of the principles in Etch is that we call things exactly what they are. So I'm gonna go back into Etch. You see, we already added a link right here. And if I direct your attention down to the bottom bar, it literally says, hey, anchor link. Even though a lot of beginners, and this is why page builders call them buttons, a beginner goes, oh, I want a button. I want a thing that looks like a button. They don't know that there's a semantic button and a semantic link and that they have completely different purposes. In their mind, they're thinking, I want the thing that looks like a button. And so page builder users, or I'm sorry, page builder developers all sat around going, well, they're gonna think that they want a button, so we should call it a button, but we'll give them a link. Um, that, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's so confusing. Teach people what the things actually are and call the things what they actually are. You need a tool that uses the language of web development. You don't want to use a tool that treats you like a know-nothing, that treats you like an idiot who can't learn, okay? That's the big difference between me and them. I know you're capable. They don't think you're capable. They don't think the masses are capable. They, 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 they care about more about money right? And attracting the masses. Well, look how easy this stuff is. No, they only make it easy to do everything wrong. That's the only thing. It's not easy to build websites. It's just easy to assemble shit the wrong way. That's, that's all it is, right? We call things what they actually are. We speak the language of web development. We teach the language of web development. And this is why, by the way, people who know the language of web development, when they come in and use Etch, they already know how to do their work. They don't, there's no learning curve because it's not proprietary. They see all the things that they expect to see. They do all the things that they expect 
to do. And etch works the way they would expect it to work. This is how it should be done. We have to stop the proprietary stuff. We have to stop the nonsense and the shenanigans and the slop, okay? And we got to get back to just let's all speak the language of web development and then we're all going to be way happier, okay? It's way things are way more predictable, it's way easier, it's easier to teach, it's easier to do. That's the end of the story, okay? All right, that's enough of the rant. Let me just show you quickly if you want to make a button in etch and the reason we didn't include it down here is because we know, hey, anybody that knows they actually need a button, which is more rare than needing a link, knows all they have to do is take any element, whether it be a div or a link or whatever, and just change from A to button, and now they're going to get a button, okay? And they can remove the href attribute, very simple. You could start with a div and just turn the div into a button. This is a less common thing. So again, we don't need to clog up the bar with every element imaginable. If it's a thing that is more rarely used and it's a thing that requires requisite knowledge, right? You got to know that there's an element called a button that has a specific purpose. We don't want you clicking, 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 adding a button to the page if you don't know what a button is for, right? Um, so it's very easy to just whip up a button out of thin air, right? You don't need the builder to have a clicky, clicky button for every single thing. That's how you end up in the land of a thousand buttons and a thousand switches. And then the interface is chaotic and crazy and slow. And yeah, we don't want any of that, okay? Just do your work. It's right here. We, we make it easy to do your work, all right? You just double click, write the word button, move on with your life. It's so easy, right? That is the story of buttons. Um, and that's it. That wraps up the links versus buttons confusion and debate. And we can move on.